flew off my lips was just like that. Like that was my normal lips. My shit just be like this. Yeah, I wouldn't fuck with this channel. Damn, I'm cursing in the first minute, man. I fucked up my monetization on this. It's all good though. Can't win them all. Can't win them all, baby. Louis V was popping. Brandon Chandler was popping. Brandon Chandler was really good, bro. Need, need about five good stories from you. Yurt. Joey Krills was popping. Capo Chef was really good. Yeah, I'm just loitering on a random block right now, drinking my Bustello. I'm about to throw this away though, cause I I got a large cup. I don't know what I was thinking, getting a large cup of this Bustello, this liquid cocaine. You feel what I'm saying? Cause I'm wired out here right now. I'm ready to run a full court by myself. I'm ready to play five niggas against me in a full court. Fucking with this Bustello, you're. Rambo 79 was popping. Last of the Greats was really good. Manny Gomez was popping. 48 was popping. Keith Ward, what up? I'm saying though, what's popping? Linda Griffin, what's really? I see y'all in the building. O'Shawn Chung was popping. Hussein Salam was populating. Uh, yeah, I gotta I got get rid of this. Uh, I gotta get rid of this Bustello, bro, because this Bustello got me this liquid cocaine, and I'm burning up with this jacket on because I'm thinking it's gonna be cool outside. Nah, bro, it's 60 some degrees, and I'm out here burning up. You heard? Looking crazy. Hold on, let me blow my nose. Pause. Uh. Yeah, baby. Mm, I got that OG haze. This is that haze right here. This is that old school 2005 haze. You heard? Shout out to my nigga Vaughn P. My hair looking crazy. You heard? Gemini by law was popping. Gemini gang in the building. Gap gang in the building was popping. Let me get off this block because there's too many kids coming past while I'm smoking my dank. You heard? My all time fit, the hardest line in hip hop history was that nigga Ice Cube said, Do I look like a motherfucking role model to a kid looking up to me? Life ain't nothing but bitches and money. I said, Oh, God. Nigga couldn't beat, nigga couldn't bend. Nigga can be 11 and 12 here and shit like that. Nigga said, do I look like a motherfucking role model to a kid looking up to me? Life ain't nothing but bitches and money because I'm a gangster having fun. Never leave the crib without packing a gun. Hitting hard as fuck, I make you ask what was it? Boy, you should have known by now. Easy does it. All right, I might, I might be getting two songs mixed up. <laughs> I might be gangsta gangsta, man. I'm getting it mixed up with Easy E. Easy does it. But I love that Ice Cube line. To a kid looking up to me, life ain't nothing but bitches and money. That nigga Gangsta Licious is hilarious. On the boondocks, nigga was like, you know who was the most gangsta rapper when I was a kid? Ice Cube. You see, you talking about the dude that do the family movies? He said he was a gangster. He was such a, he was so gangster. He said, I used to have dreams that Ice Cube came to my house and killed my whole family. <laughs> Nigga said, I used to have dreams that Ice Cube came to my house and killed my whole family. That's how gangster he was. <laughs> That nigga's fucking funny, nigga. The boondocks ain't nothing funnier than that shit. Nah, I take that back. I, I thought it was gonna be nothing funnier than the boondocks until motherfucking what's the name popped up? Rick and Morty. 
Rick and Morty, man. That shit just brings me joy. You know that song? She's bringing me joy. Joy. That's how Rick and Morty do to me, nigga. That shit brings me joy. That girl, she brings me joy. You know that song that they talking about their daughters on that song? That she's giving me joy. They straight talking about, I got to come up out this jacket, bro. I'm looking crazy out here. You heard? I'm looking crazy out here. It is not that motherfucking cold, baby. It is not that cold, Lord. Let me see how I look with some professional lighting in the morning. Hold on. Let me throw my light on my shit. That shit made no difference whatsoever at all. Let me see. Nah, that shit made no difference, Lord. Oh, man. Drew Green was popping. Gemini gang in the building was really good. I'm about to light up this motherfucking, this OG haze. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. That haze after a cup of coffee is different. Mm, mm, mm. M. L. N. L. was popping. Bear was really good. Manny Gomez was popping. Slim blood, <coughs> slim blood gang in the building. I rolled this haze, <coughs> I rolled this haze joint real fat, thinking it was sweet. Shit, I'm blowing my wig off right now. John Early was popping. You already know, Gap Gang is always in the building, baby. I help my hood looking crazy right now. Let me go throw this. Let me go get rid of this Bustello. Ain't nothing more gross than some cold Bustello. Nigga don't want no parts of that. Damn, I ain't trying to make a mess and shit. I'm just trying to... Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. I done fucked up. I done fucked up. Welcome to New York. Welcome to New York City. Welcome to New York City. Good mango on a stick with some pouring spilled Bustello. Shit rough out here, nigga. Welcome to New York City. Welcome to New York City. It's crazy, right? Because rappers that used to beef with each other, they always come together and make the greatest, fire songs like Cam and Jay. That Welcome to New York City. Welcome to New York City. That shit was crazy, nigga. Then that Nas and Jay shit that black feel like a black republican that nigga Nas both of them went crazy on that but my nigga Nas he went stupid on that black republican son nigga said reflected on they lives a couple of fat cats a couple of AIs Ooh, that nigga was going crazy on that Black Republican shit. Nigga said a couple of fat cats, a couple of AIs. Guess they wasn't strong to handle their jail time. I'm standing on the roof of my building. Ooh, that nigga was going crazy on that, my nigga. Through the hoops of fire. Nigga said, really ready to hurl myself through the hoops of fire. I can't remember what that nigga said, but he went crazy. On that black Republican nigga. Feel like a black Republican. Thought it was all good brains. All good game. Can't remember the words, man, but that's my shit. Brooklyn legend, Fruit Corner in the building. What's poppin'? Utica Ave legend, Big Dice in the building. What's really good? Life through galleries, I appreciate that snow nation, my bro. Yeah, I just uploaded a fat vegetarian episode the other day, bro. You know, y'all won't be seeing that because YouTube don't push it the same way it's gonna push a stabbing on Rikers Island and shit. But for those out there that, you know, are interested in that fat vegetarian, there's a new episode out right now, baby. You know, my spot tofu box. 
for now on see i don't like saying shit and then i don't keep my word but for now on i'm trying to drop at least i'm trying to drop two but at least one episode of the fat vegetarian every weekend at least see the the, the shit with youtube that's so crazy is anything i upload the fat vegetarian they approve that shit for monetization immediately i don't have to wait the process nothing youtube already knows that if it says the fat vegetarian there's no curses in it and it's about food so they approve that shit immediately that shit is a gold mine my nigga i just gotta keep pushing that shit that shit is a tv show netflix series waiting to happen nigga the fat vegetarian nigga where i go all around the country to the best veg vegetarian restaurants in the fucking world where they got real food, not, you know, leaves and twigs and berries and shit. They got real food for vegetarians. Because niggas be thinking vegetarians, like, because we vegetarians, we want, we want, uh, twigs and, these niggas. These niggas is different over here in the Bronx. Niggas got a whole lamp pole covered with Zaza bags. Niggas got a whole lamp pole covered with weed weed design bags. I'm about to get my bag designed in a minute. I don't even got the weed. I'm just gonna get the bag designed. That slim blunt gang. I'm gonna get that slim blunt gang. I'm gonna get that slaw. And I'm gonna get that gem pop. You heard? And I come out with my own strand of weed one day. When I come out with that slim blunt gang. When I tell you that shit gonna be potent product, I'm, it's gonna be called Slim Blunt Gang for a reason, nigga. You gonna wanna roll that up very slim. BX Alibo, what's poppin'? Yeah, my niggas. But yeah, I'm dropping an episode today. What time is that episode scheduled for? Oh, matter of fact, nine o'clock. I'm bugging the fuck out. New episode of Marcy Memoirs. You heard dropping at nine. I was going to drop it late on today, but I'm like, man, fuck that. I might drop two episodes today. What, what I really want to start doing is dropping an episode in the morning and an episode at night, my nigga. If y'all niggas could keep up with that, that's what I want to start doing. That takes a lot of work. Right now, what I'm trying to do is drop 30 days in a row. I've done that before. But I fell off like a bad bag of dope. You heard? So what I'm going to do right now is I'm dropping for 30 days in a row, my nigga. I'm not going to miss one day for the next 30 days of dropping content. And I may drop two in one day on some days. Like I would love to get the flow where I'm dropping two episodes per day. But when I'm telling you that shit is a lot of work and a lot of time, it's hard for a nigga like me to sit his black ass down, my nigga. Know what I mean? Like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a can't sit still ass nigga, my nigga. You heard? These motherfuckers taking forever. These motherfuckers taking forever with my car. You heard? Niggas taking forever with my motherfucking car, my nigga. Get my shit to the peoples. I don't even want to start talking about my car, my nigga. Because if I give y'all the information that I just got, that shit is staggering, nigga. Staggering, my nigga. But I ain't going to say nothing. I just know. Listen, bro. You got a you got a luxury car? Make sure you got collision coverage, nigga. Make sure you got collision coverage. Cuz I was talking to the agent from Geico yesterday, and she was telling me that it's niggas in these streets right now driving around with Ferraris and Lamborghinis in New York, and they don't got collision because they can't afford the insurance on that shit. So niggas is running around with Ferraris and Lamborghinis, nigga, with liability. So if you was to get into an accident where your paint gets you, you know how much a paint job on a Lamborghini costs, nigga? So if you was to get a crazy scratch on your Lamborghini, my nigga, and you ain't got collision repair, that's a dub. You gonna have that scratch for the rest of your life, nigga. And if you let some hood nigga fix that shit, your shit gonna be out here looking crazy. Now me, I'm suffering right now because I had to get the special paint. Lesson learned. Don't get special paint, my nigga. Fuck that. Don't fall for that shit. I fell for the special paint shit. You feel what I'm saying? 
every car company got like two special paints where you're gonna pay a whole lot more money for that special paint. Nigga, I got the special paint. I am learning a lesson from that shit right now, nigga. You feel what I'm saying? The Geico Lajan told me, she said, she didn't even, she didn't even know I had special paint. She was like, listen, if you got special paint with sparkles in it, it's a wrap. You understand what I'm saying? It's gonna, you, that shit is gonna take a minute to get that special paint. And sure enough, I got the special paint with the sparkles in it, my nigga. So I gotta sit here and wait for these niggas to get the special paint and all of that. I'm good. I ain't doing that no more, my nigga. No more special paint. I stick to, I stick to a regular color, my nigga. Because I don't have no time for these niggas to be taking two weeks to get my paint and shit like that. Like, what the fuck is y'all niggas doing, my nigga? But when I get my shit back, it's going to be so brand new. Let me tell you some a sick truth about me. Right? I'm going to tell you a sick truth about LAZ. I'm such a car fanatic. That even if somebody vandalized my car or I have a car accident where I'm off the road for 30 days, it's a sick side of me that's happy. You know why? Because that's 30 days with no mileage on my car. You acquire a lot of miles in 30 days the way I drive. So if I could sit my car down for 30 days, even though I'm mad I don't have my car, I'm happy that I'm going a whole month without driving my vehicle, my nigga. You heard? So when it's time to, 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 to sell this shit, nobody got lower mileage than me on a three-year-old car. When niggas see the mileage on my car, they're going to be like, when I put that shit in in motherfucking Kelly Blue Book or whatever, they're going to be like, damn, you only got this amount of mileage. Yeah, nigga, because I had a couple of months where I took off from driving completely. You heard? Sometimes you got to be happy about that. No mileage accumu accumulation on your car. I might have accumulated a thousand, two thousand miles in a, in, a, in a strong month. You feel me? None of that, my nigga. Even my BMW. When I had my BMW, I ain't know nothing about BMW. See, now I know about BMW. So I would never go through what I went through last time with a BMW because now I'm hip to the game like Bo Jackson. You understand what I'm saying? So a nigga can't tell me, yo, this costs a thousand dollars. Nigga, that shit ain't no motherfucking thousand dollars. Get you a BMW 2 kit, nigga. Find you a hood nigga that no BMWs and pay half that and get your shit fixed. Unless it's some crazy. I'm talking about if you just got a used joint like I had. You heard? I only paid 11,500 11, for my BM and my shit was out here looking like it was 50 racks. You heard? Because I keep them clean. I keep my shit clean, nigga. You heard? But, um. You know, sometimes a chick walk by with some spandex on. Her shit so crazy from the front. Her shit is so that catches mitt be so crazy that it just got to You got to have a moment of silence for it. Like, you heard? Sometimes a chick, a chick need to be a nigga for about a week. Like, you know, you need to, you know how that movie big, you need to be a nigga for a week and see how it feel to have a meet and certain chicks walking past you and all of that. And you, you see how it feels and then you'll understand. But a chick just walked by, she had a whole catches mitt and she, you, you, you gotta know that you got the catches mitt. You understand what I'm saying? You gotta look in the mirror before you walk out the house and say, damn, that shit is a catches mitt for real. You heard? You walking down the street with that catches mitt, my nigga. You hear me? I'ma watch it. That's all I got to say. But yeah, man, these cars, man, these cars, like I said, your shit off the road for an accident or for some shit like that. You look at the bright side of that shit, nigga. That's a whole month of no mileage on your shit. You heard the least mileage on your shit when it's time to sell? You gonna get that bread? Cause I'm not even turning in this lease. I don't. I gotta check my lease clauses. But I'm not. Cause let me tell you, the used car game is so suspect right now, my nigga. That 
these niggas I, I got I bought a new car I leased a car at the perfect fucking time my nigga you feel what I'm saying because used car companies is so thirsty for used cars that I had this car this Audi for six months and Audi was sending me emails like yo do you want to sell this back to the dealership nah nigga you heard because they dying for used cars the value on used cars done damn near went up 30 40 percent so what you paid for a used car three years ago before COVID, now that shit crazy bro because now they got a shortage on computer chips to build new cars so now certified pre-owns and used cars they're gonna be able to sell them shits 30 percent more higher than what they were selling them before so when my lease is up when it's six months or five months before my lease is up and I throw this shit on the market, my nigga. Niggas gonna be big. Audi gonna be banging my door down. Like, yo, sell that shit back to us. Because they gonna make top dollar off of selling the certified pre-owned. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm and I'm gonna resell that shit. I doubt if I sell it back to Audi. I'm gonna sell it to the highest bidder, nigga. And the highest bidder be motherfucking uh, CarMax. CarMax be the highest bidder, my nigga. CarMax be offering niggas all type of bread for, for a good used car. So when I sell that shit to CarMax, I plan on making about six, seven thousand extra dollars for my pocket, nigga. So let's just say they give me a buyout price for forty thousand, right? Let's just say they give me a buyout price for forty thousand. Nigga, I'm selling that shit for forty six thousand cashing in paying the dealership they forty thousand that they want for the buyout price keeping that six thousand in my pocket releasing another leasing a new vehicle you understand and the six thousand that i made will pay for everything my down payment and my new insurance policy that i gotta start so it'll be absolutely no money out my pocket to get in a brand new car and that's how you pimp the car game my nigga that's how you pimp the car game and stay in a brand new vehicle every three years you sell your shit before your lease is up. You make a you make the extra money that it costs to put the down payment, your taxes, your registration fees, all that good shit. You make them niggas pay for that shit. You feel me? Then you back in something new and crispy again every three years. Very well. And then it happened. Peace, peace, peace. Calm. What's popping? Don P, that's a fact. Whole bugs, what's really good? Just being honest, what's popping? Tommy D TV, what's really good? Zan with the lean, what's popping? Big, big worm, what's popping? Capo Chef, what's really good again? Yeah, man, but you know what I mean. I'm gonna keep it real with you, bro. I'm gonna keep it real with you, bro. What with what with what Geico with Geico gotta go through to get my whip back to me, man? I literally feel sorry for Geico. You feel me? I feel sorry for Geico, my nigga. Most niggas are telling me I'm crazy for feeling sorry for Geico with how much money I paid them a month, but I just feel sorry for them niggas, my nigga. How much money y'all niggas gotta kick out your ass to get that whip back? Like you feel me? That shit is disgusting, my nigga. And that shit is enough to make a nigga say, you know what? I'm going to get me a motherfucking charger brand new and sit my ass down somewhere. You know what I mean? Like, after I finish this Audi lease, like, I might just motherfucking get me a charger, my nigga. You know why? Because you can't have nothing nice in New York City, my nigga. You really can't have nothing nice in New York, son. At any minute, niggas will break into your shit, break your glass, vandalize your shit. Like, you can't have shit in New York City, bro. It sucks. You got to literally have a house with a parking spot in order to have something nice in New York, my nigga. It's disgusting. You feel me? That's fucked up. So it's like, that shit make me say, nigga, I pay $500 a month, get me a brand new fully loaded charger, my nigga, and be just as happy. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, real talk, my nigga. That's how that shit make you feel when you go through all of that bullshit. Luxury paint, luxury uh, special paint from Audi, motherfucking nigga you know how much my tires cost do you know how much my tires cost on that audi q7 of course insurance covers it but do you know how much replacing four tires cost my nigga two thousand dollars my nigga 
twenties, four twenties run flat tires, two thousand dollars, my nigga. It's disgusting, bro. That's disgusting. We all like nice stuff. But two thousand dollars for four tires, my nigga, like. Why am I spending five hundred dollars per tire, my nigga? Do they? If that's the case, these shit should never get flat, nigga. A nigga shouldn't be able to make these flat, nigga. Paying five hundred each for these motherfuckers. You feel what I'm saying? Like that shit could turn you off. What could turn you off is how luxury car companies and shit they take advantage of people with money. Like, oh, you want a luxury car? I, right, nigga. But then. Now that I now that my car is in the shop getting painted, and I've been in so many other cars since, like I understand why I'm paying this month this much for this car. Because these other car companies, my nigga, they giving you a box with some wheels on it. Like, like the car game is a real foul hustle, my nigga. You never get what you really pay for. You feel me saying? Even with these luxury cars, my nigga, these companies be cutting corners, my nigga. They be cutting corners. One thing, see, what a lot of people don't know what's going on in the car industry right now is that luxury car companies are trying to cut the throats of economy car companies like Toyota and Honda and Kia. They sell so many units that luxury car companies is like, fuck that. We coming into the in, into the economy game. So when you see people like with BMW X1s and X2s and and um, you know, uh, Mercedes, uh, 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 not the I'm um, talking about like um, the GLC 300s and shit like that. Like son, these cars, my nigga, when you get in them. They not really, they not really full BMWs and real, really full Benzes. They are in disguise. Like certain shit be still quality on it. Like you could feel the heaviness in the door. Like all right, these doors is heavy. You feel what I'm saying? But if you analyze, it be a chunk of plastic on the bottom, a chunk of plastic in the back. They cut in corners. That chunk of plastic on the bottom and the back saves them niggas millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars per year in production on that particular vehicle. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you may have some metal on your shit on your X5 that on the X2, that shit is plastic on that part. The lever on your X5 may be a certain quality when the lever on the X2 is a certain different quality. You still get in the luxury car uh, 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 look, but you get it for way less money. And they doing that to cut the throats of Honda and Toyota because they tired of them niggas um, making all of the money. So now the luxury car companies is moving in on the economy car market and they putting out economy luxury cars in disguise. Every car company, BMW is doing it, Mercedes is doing it, Volvo is doing it, everybody's doing it. You feel what I'm saying? And now the, econ the, econ the economy car companies they trying to put out economy cars with the most luxury features they possibly could put in to cut the throat of the luxury car companies. You feel what I'm saying? So they're going to give you a Kia Telluride and they're going to give you a Palisade, a Hyundai Palisade. And that shit got the touch screen, the motherfucking dashboard look right, everything look right. And when you go in there, you be like, damn, I don't really need the Benz because the Telluride do all of this shit. Or 80% of this shit. Like, so the comp the economy car companies and the luxury car companies, they kind of at war right now with each other. You feel me? Like I just had that BMW X2. I had that X2, and that X2 was nice, but that shit, it got, it got a chunks of plastic on it, on the bottom, like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, when you buy a, a top luxury car, it ain't gonna be no plastic on it, my nigga. It ain't gonna be no plastic. It may be gloss black on it. That's different. Gloss black don't really wear and tear like that. But the plastic shit, nigga, you ain't seeing none of that on, 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 on a high-end Benz. But if you go down or if you go down to the X1 BMW, you're going to see chunks of plastic on that shit, and all that, which is cool. It's all good. 
because I understand what them niggas is doing. I'd rather drive an economy BMW than an economy, you know what I mean? But you can't be fooled. I'm sorry. I'm sitting on people property and shit. Review report was popping. Yeah, my nigga, that new episode is dropping. That new episode is dropping at nine o'clock. Lil Mario was popping. Sean Edmonds was really good. Yeah, bro. I mean, like, you know, Hondas, Hondas and Toyotas, them shits don't never die, my nigga. They just don't never die, my nigga. You could drive them shits forever. They ain't just like Nissan Maximas. Maximas never die, my nigga. I had a Maxima. I never had a problem with that shit, nigga. Never. Nothing never went wrong with my Maxima, my nigga. Period. You feel what I'm saying? Like, Japanese motherfuckers, they know how to make cars that um one of them is korean i think kia is korean they're not japanese they korean you understand what i'm saying but um these niggas know how to make cars that last my nigga and then when you gotta fix them it's so inexpensive to fix you be on the road my nigga you be on the road but like like acura for an example you know acura is made by honda 15 minutes that new episode dropped Acura is made by Honda. Like, you could see all of the car companies, what makes what. Nissan makes Infinity. You understand? You could look at an Infinity and tell Nissan makes it. You know? Honda makes Acura. Toyota makes Lexus. Motherfucking, um... Volkswagen makes Audi. That's why you could look at an Audi and a Volkswagen, they look uh, very similar. And if I had to go with an economy car... I would go with a Volkswagen more than anything because they put their drawers in a Volkswagen, my nigga. Volkswagens look beautiful. You understand what I'm saying? They are German made. You getting that German engineering and design. That shit looks good. The Volkswagen uh, truck, the two trucks they got, them shits is fire, my nigga. I will pick those trucks over any, any other truck that's non-luxury, like the, over the Toyota, over the Honda. Can I walk past here, my brother? Thank you. Nigga see me walking, nigga spraying the shit out the ground. Like, fuck, nigga, you get some water on these suede NBs if you want to, nigga. Yerp. But yeah, my niggas. But, um, that Volkswagen, man, that Volkswagen be looking nice, you heard? Then you got Ford. Ford makes Cadillac, if I'm not mistaken. Chevy. Chevy makes Cadillac, if I'm not mistaken. You feel what I'm saying? I love Cadillacs. When I get my money up, I'm gonna get me a uh, I'm gonna get me a personal Cadillac for my own personal driving. I'm gonna get me a motherfucking um that new CT CT6 or whatever the fuck that shit is. I'm getting that nigga. Period. Fully loaded with everything. I'm getting that for my own personal driving. That's just for my mental space when I just want to drive around by myself without my noisy ass kids. I'm getting that Cadillac, nigga. I can't leave the planet Earth never having a lack. You heard? I can't leave the earth without ever having a lack. Know what I mean? I got to touch every brand, my nigga. I'm going to keep it real with you. I got to touch every brand before it's all over. I got to touch every luxury brand of cars. So far, I had a BMW. I had an Audi. What else I had? I had a, I had a Maxima. I had to explore. Those are the only luxury cars I had. Maxima is not really a luxury car. It's more of a sports car. You feel me? But, you know, a fully loaded Maxima, that shit is beautiful. And I'm going to tell you something. The Maxima that I had, the two, like I had my, I had my shit in 2012, I think. The, and I had a 2012 Maxima or something like that. Like I had the year Maxima when it was out. Son, here it is in 2022, my nigga. That shit still look great. Nigga cannot tell me that the, 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 not the Maxima that's out now, the Maxima before that, nigga cannot tell me that shit still doesn't look great 10, 12 years later, my nigga. So if you a nigga out there 
and you and you contemplating what type of car you want to buy that's inexpensive that you could pay three four hundred dollars a month on the finance nigga go with that maxima go get a white a white 2013 2014 maxima nigga fully loaded with leather satellite gp all of that shit son that shit is a, a i don't care if it got a hundred thousand miles on it nigga those maximas is good for 250. They good for 250,000 miles, my nigga. You get one of those all white maximas fully loaded, nigga. You tint that shit up, nigga. Listen, that shit is moving out here like a luxury car, nigga. Maximas is different. They put so much drawers in them shits that they last for 20 years, bro. <clears throat> the look on them shits lasts for 20 years. Any maxima that ever came out, I don't care what maxima it is. You see that shit, you're going to be like, mm, that shit look nice. If it's hooked up, is is this a classic car, my nigga? And it'll never stop being a classic car. So if you a nigga that you need a good looking car for 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 light money, go get that 2014 Maxima fully loaded in white or in gray. I had my shit in black. I had the black on black. My shit was gorgeous. My shit was gorgeous, nigga. And when I had it, you know, when I had my Maxima. I took it for granted because I was I was the Benz or BMW, but I did the mature thing and said, you know what? I'm just going to get the Maxima and chill the fuck out because I'm living in the projects, my nigga. I said, I'm just going to get the Maxima. Nigga, my Maxima was so beautiful and crispy. I bought that shit. We got, I got that shit certified pre-owned. You heard? Certified pre-owned. Certified pre-owned. Nigga, that shit never had a problem, nigga not one problem you heard that shit was beautiful gab life tears was popping sos amazing that's a fact bro yeah the maximums don't stop my nigga <laughs> nigga said he in the crown victoria alonzo hall was populated but yeah, now the Maximus don't quit, son. I promise you they don't quit, son. They don't quit. Whoever was in responsible for designing that shit, them niggas knew what they was doing. Jonathan Freeloader was populating. Yeah, son, but I, I seen that shit the other day. Like, I seen a nigga pushing through with a white Maxima, like a 2012 joint or whatever, 2010 joint. I said, God damn, Nissan. What the fuck designers y'all niggas had in the lab where y'all said this shit gonna last for 20 years, nigga? These shits ain't gonna look old for 20 joints. The new Maximas don't look as good as the old as the ones before that. Let's keep it on it. The new Maximas, they don't look as good as the old shits, my nigga. You get one of them shits fully loaded, right? First of all, let me tell you something about Maximas, my nigga. First of all, the lever in those Maximas, they faulty. The driver's seat um side the lever's always going to get fucked up it is it, it wears and tears real easy your driver's seat is always going to be fucked up but the rest of them seats them shits be crispy right so you get a seat cover for them shits when you get it because you will fuck that shit up the way it's designed every time you hop out you wrinkle the lever you feel me like so you got to get a seat cover for that driver's seat on the maximus but son let me tell you some real shit son them shits is roomy as a motherfucker, nigga. The back seat of a Maxima? Son, that shit got room like a SUV in the motherfuckers. Like, the design on them shits, the only thing is they a little bit low to the ground. So in New York, you got to be real careful with potholes because you will hit them shits. You, I've hit a bad pothole in my Maxima. Them shits is real low to the ground. So you got to drive slowly and carefully with them shits. But real talk, my nigga, listen, I'm telling you. Right now, a nigga will come up on one of the Maximas for 10, 12 rep, for less than that, for less than that. But you get one of those Maximas, nigga, the rims on them shits is bananas. The rims on them shits is bananas. You feel me? Get one of them shits, nigga, Psst. fully loaded, GPS. Nigga, you don't need nothing else, bro. I'm telling you, if you a nigga out here on a budget, and you want to have a car that's going to last and look good for a long time? Fuck with that Maxi, nigga. 
I miss my Maxi. I wish I had a Maxima as a second car. If my if I was to get my money up <clears throat> right quick, where I could get a little hoopty, because I learned a lesson from this situation too. You gotta have a little hoopty on the side, my nigga. You gotta have a little hoopty on the side to save mileage on your car, drive it less. You feel me? Wear and, wear and tear down your good shit less and have a little joint that you on the side, you zipping in and out of traffic with. You feel me? So if I could get a second car right now, nigga, I'd get me a fully loaded Maxima, like a 2012. Nigga, you be moving in that shit, nigga. You be moving in that shit. Straight up. But yeah, that new episode is dropping in six minutes. I'm going to need y'all dudes. Don Weezy was populating feelings too. What's really good? Elijah Banks was popping. We should have it. But yeah, man, you know what I mean? I need all y'all dudes to follow me over to the motherfucking Master of the Zeros. What's popping? I need y'all dudes to follow me over to that premiere that's dropping at 9 o'clock. New Marcy Memoirs. It's very spicy. Very spicy. So if you from North Carolina, I need y'all to leave 12 comments apiece if you rep that North Carolina. You feel what I'm saying? Make, make sure that algorithm is fluffy. For y'all dudes out there who y'all want to show me some love, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Respect to everybody that been hitting up that motherfucking cash app and sending those stickers and shit like that. But if you ain't got no money and you want to show me love, hit them comments up, my nigga. You heard? If you want to show a nigga some love, if you ever want to show LAZ, you want to give LAZ a donation, this is what you could do besides money. Go leave a comment on five random videos. I don't care what videos they are. Whatever videos YouTube is recommending, just hit that shit, leave a comment. I don't care if you be like, you're, <clears throat> you could just be like, you're, that's it. If I see a nigga just saying, you're, I know you fluctuate in that algorithm. You understand? Because what's sad about YouTube is you could have super great content, but if people are not actively commenting on that shit, it'll, it'll start lying dormant. So like I got videos with 1.4 million views. That shit is lying dormant, my nigga. Like that shit shouldn't be lying dormant with 1.4 million views. So sometimes niggas in the in Gen Pop gotta just go to shit like that New Orleans video and just leave five comments, my nigga. Leave five, six, seven comments and let that algorithm start fluffing up again, my nigga. You heard? That comment gang. That shit is that shit is a deep thing, my nigga. It's the comments, cause you can't fit comments, my nigga. You unless you're doing the trash bot comments that say shit like, great video. Like that shit is trash. You understand what I'm saying? You can click on them niggas. Niggas got one up, niggas don't got no uploads in 10 years. That shit's a fake bot. You feel what I'm saying? But them real comments, you can't fake that, son. You can't fake that. And if you analyze this gen pop shit, nobody get more comments than us by views like nigga the comments we be having is ridiculous my nigga four minutes that new episode is dropping swaggy stewart we should have it crazy bailey we should have it but yeah my g's know what i mean another car that i love though yeah, I don't want to keep jumping the subject, but like I was saying about the comments, hit them shits up, keep that algorithm fluctuating at all times. You feel what I'm saying? On on videos that you love, that you is your favorite story, even if you watched it already, go on that shit again and leave two and three comments because if you love it, somebody else should love that shit. Real talk. Linda Griffin, what's poppin'? Yeah, you can't fake those real comments. You can't fake that shit, my nigga. So when YouTube sees, yo, my nigga Mike Book in the biz in the building, what's poppin'? Michigan, what's really good? If you ain't never see that story by my nigga Mike Book, who just stepped in the live chat, um, chick from POF tried to kill me, part one and two. That shit is a whole movie for a fact. If Ice Cube was to run across that link, I promise you that nigga would want to film a movie for that shit. You understand what I'm saying? DJ Pooh was to run across that. Um, somebody from POF tried to kill me. That nigga, them niggas will want to do business and make a movie off that shit, my nigga. That's my word. You feel what I'm saying? So if you if you on Twitter and you got a good Twitter account, 
tweet this link, tweet the link to that. Somebody from POF tried to kill me. Tweet that shit to, to Ice Cube and DJ Pooh and just be like, you can make millions off of this, off of the movies to this shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, these niggas is out here, man. I feel sorry for some of these Hollywood niggas, man, because they, they being jerked out of hundreds of millions of dollars by not knowing about niggas like me. So, you know, this is why sound travels at 1,120 feet per second. We got to keep spreading the motherfucking business because niggas is missing out on hundreds of millions of dollars. That a chick from POF tried to kill me? Listen, I get some money, nigga. I get my money right. I'm filming that shit myself. Me and Mike Book gonna break bread and I'ma film that shit myself, nigga. Put that shit on motherfucking YouTube and we gonna split the guap on that shit. I'll put up all the money for that shit, nigga. I will put up all the money for that shit. That's a fact. That's what's gonna happen, man. One minute that new episode is dropping. That's what'll happen. If my money get up, YMF, what's popping? If my money get up the way I really need it, I'm just gonna pay for, to do the movies myself. I'm going to pick five, five of my favorite stories off the channel and I'm turning all of them shits into movies. Let's just say Netflix be like, yo, listen, man, y'all niggas doing y'all thing. Hold this 500 million down. Give us five films to start with. Nigga, listen, it's over, nigga. I'm flying niggas out to New York. I'm flying out to Michigan. I'm flying out to Georgia. Listen, it's going, it's going down, my nigga. Bet you my ass will be on a the plane then when that big bread come in. But yo, listen, that new episode, Marcy Memoirs, is out right now. I need all 70 of y'all motherfuckers that's up in here to slide through. Slide through the motherfucking um, new episode and leave 30 comments. You heard? But yeah, that's what it is, bro. We gonna get that money up and film these movies ourselves. But if you ain't never see that um, a chick from POF tried to kill me, go watch that shit from my, my nigga Mike Book that's on the channel. And I want to know your opinion on whether or not that's a fucking Ice Cube and DJ Pool movie waiting to happen. That shit is the next Friday. But yo, meet me over at the premiere. I'm sliding over there now. Yersk.